So first today I'm going to be starting out with my eyebrows. I'm going in with my e.l.f. Um, clear brow gel. This will just help hold them in place and it also helps when you're using um, like the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade or any type of um, pomade or cream. It will kind of help make get it something to stick to in those um, blank areas so I really like using that. Then I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde and I'm just going to be filling in the eyebrows today. Nothing too intense, just kind of filling in some of those blank spaces. Then today to set my eyes, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. This is the original one. I'm just going to apply a little bit to my finger and then apply it to both lids. A lot goes, a little goes a long way with this product. Um, also with the Too Faced product, you really don't have to use that much. Then today I'm going in with some shades from Coastal Scents. I'm going to be using these dark shades here. And then I'm going to be using that pink shade on the lid. It is Easter, so I do want to do something um, kind of light and just a little bit. Not too much, not too crazy today. I'm just applying this lightest brown shade to my upper crease area and just making sure that all of these dark shades are going to blend together. Then I'm going to take this little blending brush from City Color and take that darker shade and apply that into the crease. I'm also going to take it on the outer V of the eye. I'm not too worried about having any fallout or anything because I haven't applied the rest of my makeup yet so I can clean that up pretty easily. So I'm just doing it kind of messy and I'll go in and clean up the lines later. I'm going to take this lightest shade in the Carly Bible palette and use this in the upper crease just kind of blend that difference from where there's nothing to there's a shadow. I'm also going to use that same shade to highlight under my brows. Then I'm going to take that pink shade and just apply it directly to my lid. Alright, so I have applied, applied my foundation. I used the Makeup Forever HD foundation, and then I also used my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye underneath my eyes. Um, I really don't know how I feel about this concealer at first. When I got it, I really loved it. But I just noticed it really, like, getting tacky and sticking into, like, bigger pores or open or fine lines. So I'm not sure how I use, like it. I haven't used it in a while, so I wanted to use it again today just to kind of see how I feel about it again. Um, but I am going to be also applying my NYX HD um, concealer on top to kind of highlight the under eye area and lighten that up. But as far as, I really like the IT Cosmetics for covering any darkness or anything that blemishes that need covered. It's great for that. But just under the eyes, I have a lot of fine lines and I feel like it really settles in them. And then I'm just going to be using a Beauty Bender to blend this out. Now I'm going to go in and set those eyes so they do not crease and I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just going to be taking my Beauty Blender and I'm going to be baking this area today. I'm going to be applying this and doing the baking method anywhere I applied my concealer. I'm also going to set around the corners of my nose because in the summer those do tend to get a little bit more oily. Then we're going to let that set. We're going to go in with our bronzer today. I'm going to be using my new favorite Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and a Bare Minerals Kabuki Brush. I'm just going to use this to bronze up my face. You want to do it in kind of a three shape. You want to do it in a three shape like this where it comes down and then down on here. So that's what I'm going to end up making it be. Just using it to bronze up my forehead. Especially if you feel like you have a larger forehead. Um, I'm just bronzing but contouring this area is a great way to help with that. Going in with my Artiste brush and I'm just going to make sure this is all blended well and mixed together. Timeless Amazonian Clay Blush. It's by Tarte. 
This is a 12 hour blush. I do notice that it lasts a little bit longer than some of my other blushes, um, but I don't really know that it lasts for a full 12 hours on me. But I've never really timed it either. To see. We're using two highlights today. We're going to go in with our Mary Luminizer by The Bomb, and I'm going to be using just a fan brush. Um, I believe this is from Crown. You don't have to use two highlights if you don't want to, but I want to be very glowy today, so I'm going to use two. Then I'm going in with another favorite highlight by Becca. It's Champagne Pop that Jaclyn Hill um, did with them. Then for underneath the eyes today, we're going to go back in with those shades that we used earlier, starting from lightest to darkest, and just bring those down on the bottom lash line. Then we're going to go in with that pink and use this as an inner corner highlight. But I'm going to be applying a highlight on top to give it some shimmer because this pink has none. But I want to have that pink color underneath to pull it all together. Then going in with Mary Luminizer again, we're going to use this as an inner corner highlight. This is definitely one of my favorite inner corner highlights. I love this highlighter. Um, it's great for this or just applying it on the face. It's definitely probably one of my favorite highlighters. Then for the waterline today, we're going to go in with a nude liner. This is um, Rimmel Exaggerated Waterproof Eye Definer, and it is in, in the nude is the shade. Going in with a white or a nude waterline just really helps keep your eyes open as well as highlighting the inner corner does. And that's what I want to look, I want to go for today. Then for my mascara, I'm going to be using my two favorites. Uh, I've been using this, these two combinations a lot lately, but I'm going to curl my lashes first. I love both of these mascaras the same, but I love them for different reasons. The Telescopic by L'Oreal Mascara really helps make your lashes longer, um, and the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara really seems to help make them more full. So I'm going in with the Telescopic first. I kind of use this, I guess you could say, as like an eye primer, um, but it's really two mascaras. And this mascara helps make sure that they stay separated as well, so that's why I really use it first. And then I'm going to apply this mascara on my bottom lash line. Okay, and now I'm going in with the Smashbox mascara. And you can see the difference there. Now, I wouldn't normally do two mascaras, um, and if they were either one of these were clumpy, I definitely wouldn't. Because then you would really get your eyeshadow lashes to clump together. But the, both of these mascaras are really good at opening those lashes and separating them. So I haven't really had any issues with clumping. Alright guys, and this is the finished look. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I was getting ready for Easter, so I hope you guys have had a great Easter. This video will be up afterwards. Um, I hope you enjoyed this very springy, kind of more natural, not too glamorous look. And please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.